Hello Movement family! My name is Audrey Palomares and I am our Next Gen Coordinator. So we are currently in a Devo series that's called Healthy Habits and we get to hear from various church family members and the healthy habits that they learned to develop from a season in the past or they are currently cultivating in a season that is present for them. So I'm here to talk to you about a healthy habit that I have learned to develop and am currently cultivating in my season of singleness. Now, the season of singleness is something that either terrifies people or it thrills them. And I've definitely been on both ends of the spectrum when it comes to my season of singleness. But the biggest and greatest healthy habit that I have learned to develop in this season has been my community. Now, I've walked through singleness with Jesus and I've also walked through it without. And walking with it with Jesus, you need community. You need people who are gonna constantly remind you of God's truth um, and be there to pick you up in the highs and the lows and the celebrations that come with it. So I kind of have two standards that I've set when developing this community. And the first is having community that's gonna be honest with me. And the second is community that's going to be present with me and loyal to me, um, not just in this season, but in seasons to come. So for the first one, it's developing a community that's going to be honest with me. And sometimes honesty hurts. Truth really hurts when you're not walking in it. And I've learned to develop friends and mentors who are going to keep me accountable. And sometimes that means hearing something that I don't want to hear, um, but I need it. I need those guardrails, I need those people who are going to continue pushing me towards God's heart and pushing me um, back towards the calling that God has placed in my life and constantly reminding me of that. Now being called out, that hurts at times, but it's necessary to continue pursuing the calling that God has for us. So establishing friends, family, mentors, church family, just community that's going to be honest with you. but true honesty when it's rooted in who God is it's always rooted in love so you never have to fear that they're doing it to bring you down or they're doing it to be malicious community rooted in God allows honesty to reflect the love that he has for you and the second one is establishing community that is present with me that is loyal in my season of singleness before Jesus um, I just had friends and community that were constantly in and out. I didn't know if they were going to be there with me through awesome seasons or really crappy seasons and um, I've developed a rad group of friends and mentors that are there for me through all of it and I never have to worry about being alone and or being lonely and that has been so key and I never fear that I, I won't have someone to go to. I don't fear that um, through the highs of singleness that I won't have someone to celebrate or through the lows of singleness that I won't have someone to come alongside of me and process that. So establishing a community that is truly there for me has been so key. And it is my hope and prayer that for all the singles in our church and just out there in the world walking out singleness with um, the current times that we're in that we can establish awesome community that is going to be honest with us that's going to be rooted in love and that is going to constantly be present with us it is my hope and my prayer that this was an encouragement to you if you're single or if you know someone who is single um, go ahead and send them this video and let's continue building our communities and building them around the truths that God is calling us into and just people who want to see us champion this season and also the season to come. I love you guys. I am praying for you. And I hopefully get to see you on Sunday at church. Bye.